first alert weather alert. Here's meteorologist Taban Sharifi. We are feeling those gusty winds this morning. Right now in Whitewater, gusts to 51 miles per hour, 29 mile per hour wind gusts in Palm Springs in the 30s for thermal and 40s for 29 palms. It has been a gusty morning overall, and we are going to continue to see these gusts last all throughout the day. So let's take you hour by hour as we go into your future wind gusts. As we stop this around 10 o'clock this morning, still seeing gusts on the valley floor reaching into the 40s as well as the 40s for whitewater at times above that as well. And we'll just continue to keep this around. Notice as we head into the 7 o'clock hour, still seeing gusts in the 40s for tonight. As we carry on through the later evening hours, that's when things are going to start to diminish. As we head into about the 11 o'clock hour, that's when winds will begin to shift and become a little bit lighter as we go into Monday morning. Notice we're still not fully done with the winds. They're just not going to be as strong. So still expect a breeze to stick around Monday. Gusts around that 25 mile per hour mark before we really see those winds diminish a bit more as we head into Monday evening. A wind advisory remains in effect through 11 o'clock this evening. We are still talking about those gusty westerly winds 55 to 65 miles per hour. That does include the valley floor. The valley floor, you can expect those winds to linger in the 40s, stronger for areas through the Sanger Gonio Pass and for our mountains. Blowing sand and dust has the potential to reduce your visibility out there and lower air quality. Look at these peak winds just over the last 24 hours or so, really just through midnight. We're looking at 67 mile per hour wind gusts in Whitewater, 1000 Palms, 48 miles per hour in Coachella, hitting that 40 mile per hour mark. Now, a wind blown dust advisory has been issued by South Coast Air Quality Management District for the potential for lower air quality with the blowing sand and dust that particulate matter in the air, creating unhealthy levels for sensitive groups. That does include the Coachella Valley and through the San Gregorio Pass. Also, Palm Springs Police Department has put out that traffic alert that North Gene Autry at the wash is closed due to low visibility and sand buildup. So again, we're already seeing it this morning and those winds are going to carry on as we go through the rest of today. The reason we're seeing those winds is this trough of low pressure that is strengthening that onshore flow. By Monday, that trough will exit and we are going to build in a ridge of high pressure. So that's when our winds will begin to weaken and our temperatures are going to warm up as we head into Monday and continue to warm up into Tuesday under this ridge of high pressure, tracking highs back in the triple digits. As far as this morning, if you're out in El Paseo, you're heading out in that direction, Palm Desert area, winds are lighter there. Temperatures will be a bit cooler because of that trough of low pressure as well. Your Comfort Air 7 day forecast in the low 90s today before we see that warming trend back in the triple digits through the rest of that coming week. So Caitlin, gusty already. I mean, we can even hear the wind gusts here in our studio, mm -hmm. right? The winds in Thousand Palms here are so intense. You can hear it like shaking the walls, the lights. It's crazy. Absolutely. So just be careful out mm -hmm. there if you're driving at any point. Again, low visibility really impacting us today.